Calculus is the mathematics of change. I'm on this bicycle to illustrate this. You see, speed is the change of distance over time. If I use the bicycle's trip odometer to keep track of how far I've traveled, and I use the stopwatch to keep track of the time I've traveled, if I divide the two quantities, if I divide distance by the time traveled, I will get my speed. The word calculus comes from the Greek word calyx, which means small stone or pebble. The Greeks used pebbles and stones to calculate, and back in 15 BC, the Roman engineer and architect Vitruvius invented a device to keep track of distances by taking a large wheel and uh, putting it together in a wheelbarrow-like contraption. As the wheel turned and made a full revolution, it dropped a small stone in a bucket. At the end of the trip, the pebbles could be counted and so a distance could be computed. If Vitruvius also kept track of the time that it took to travel that distance, he could have cal calculated the speed. Now, the distance that I travel depends on time. The longer that I travel, the farther I travel. If I were to travel at five miles per hour, and I go one hour, I would be traveling, I would have traveled five miles. If I traveled for two hours at five miles per hour, I would travel 10 miles. It turns out that the change of the distance over time is speed, and there's a fancy word that mathematicians have for this, and that is derivative. If I were to take the derivative of the distance function, that is, the function that tells me the distance that I travel, based on the time that I travel, if I were to take the derivative of this function, I would get the speed. And so that is our first lesson in calculus, is the concept of change and the concept of a derivative. I wish I could tell you more, but since I got to keep on moving, I'll see you later. So long from Dr. Frank.